What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mecca PPV with a surprise, with a surprise video. This is gonna be a video in regards of the Black Pearl. The Black Pearl has been in our family since brand new, 1994. It's just a straight up 1994 Toyota half cab pickup. Very nice truck. It's has the 22RE in it, automatic transmission, and my father just brought it to me today, actually a couple weeks ago, but <laughs> uh, he has problems with the brake lights, and as you can see, it's also just killing the battery, and it's in related to the brake light. So the main issue with this truck was the brake light is staying on at all times, even when the car is off so I was like oh no we probably have like a short to ground somewhere that's allowing this thing to stay on actually that whining belt that you that whining or that squeal you hear that's that's the Tacoma <laughs> I, I need to change that belt I really do need to fix that but yeah 22 RE fuel injected just like the 4Runner it is the most best engine anybody could have I actually rebuilt this engine a couple years ago I rebuilt the the, uh, the engine and also the transmission so here's the root of the problem the brakes the brake light just stays on at all times without me even being there the car is running right now just to let it charge the battery but it just staying on that's not that's not a good sign another thing we gotta fix flat there's a puncture on the left rear tire we gotta fix that real quick so let's get to the the guts of this thing I quickly just take out the the front lens and just take a quick visual inspection. I just want to see if I can get anything right off the bat. Maybe, I don't know, some chewed up wires from a rodent, some bulbs that might be busted. So I take off the whole assembly, which took me a while to get to, but it's good. And I also need to just replace the whole thing. This thing is just cracking like crazy. I check the bulbs first. Let's check the easy stuff. The easy stuff is just looking at the bulbs. I've had a bulb short itself out, believe it or not, and it's it also does the same symptom. It could also do the same symptom. It can also stay off permanently, and of course, that would be a bad bulb, obviously. But this bulb looks good, and I was like, hmm, this bulb looks good. There's nothing wrong with it. So I got another one. Anyway, I, I had one laying around in the glove box, and I compared it, and they, they, they look the same, so I'm just going to slap it in there see what happens. It really needs a new housing. Look at that. It's all cracked up. Old cars, man. Take care of your old stuff. For you won't destroy your new stuff. That's how you're supposed to think about it. And as you can see, even with the new bulb, it still stays on. So we don't, it's not a bulb issue. It's definitely not a bulb issue. I went ahead and uh, started checking the wires since I was at that area. You can kind of see my face that I'm kind of like, hmm. Hmm, I'm just digging in there. <laughs> So I decided to take the other assembly out. I wanted to check the bulbs in that because it was kind of weird to me that only one bulb was staying on. So I wanted to check the other bulbs and lo and behold, I did find something. And guess what? Bad bulb. That's why those that left side brake wasn't on because that bulb was obviously busted so I'll slap a brand new bulb in there and guess what the new symptom is you're not gonna guess <laughs> the brakes stay on so now I have eliminated a couple things it's not bulb related it's not wiring related or maybe it still could be wire related if we just take a look under the truck and just trace those wires and if you don't see anything then we're gonna find something so I reflected on some of the diagrams and I went ahead and checked the high mounted brake bulb the high mounted brake bulb is in related to the circuit and maybe that shorted out somehow so I went in and checked it out very easy to change and that bulb is just completely melted exploded I don't know I, I don't know how those bulbs get like that to be honest but still 
the symptom was still there. I took that bulb out and went to the brake switch. That would be my next thing without the gutting the whole thing just looking at wiring. That would be my next step is to check the brake switch. Very easy to get to as you can as you see I just took off the driver's side cover for the steering column and we're gonna look for it that brake switch which is kind of tucked in there you do gotta fight a couple of things but it's not impossible brake switch uh, I feel like this is causing culprit I think this is stuck closed so I'm gonna see if I can get a new one the only thing I'm gonna do on this give it a shot I'm gonna tap it I feel like this the brake switch is actually getting stuck in the open position meaning that when there's no pedal touching this the switch will stay on so in order to turn off the, the brake lights the pedal lever lever whatever will press on it and that would shut off the brakes tap it a few times truck is already banged up so that's why I'm not worried about it. And now I'm going to temporarily do a quick connect. Temporarily I'm going to connect it. Our fuse is good. So right now the brake should be on because it doesn't see anything pushing this button. Or indeed there's the light right there. On off. Indeed, it's a switch, ladies and gents. Indeed, we found out a couple of things. One, we did have a bad brake bulb, the one on the left side. Two, we found a bad brake switch. Three, we found our, our, our roof mounted brake light to be completely bloated. That's bad, so we gotta replace that bulb as well. So we, we uh, I did a quick visual out of all the harness. I took out the odometer, just just for I could get better lighting in there because I, I don't have my flashlight and it's nice. It's, it's a beautiful day out. Took off the, uh, the lower cover from the driver's side. Pretty easy. Um, didn't take me very long to figure it out. So just needs a brake switch. Should be an easy repair. And that's it. We figured it out. So let me go ahead and put everything back together. And uh, we already resolved our electrical issue. I'll get the, the brake switch light maybe ordered. Either I'll keep that one till it really actually fails. You saw I just tapped it a little bit and fixed it. And uh, we'll go on from there. So let's fix this flat tire, do some oil changes, and do a, an initial inspection on this truck. I'll probably clean it up. So yeah, we got a lot of time to burn. We, we figured it out early, so that's good. That is a dog bowl, by the way. <laughs> I didn't have a pan, okay? I didn't have a pan, so I went ahead and used the dog bowl that was laying around. No, my dog doesn't eat from there. But that's about it. I just wanted to introduce to you guys the Black Pearl. You'll probably see more videos about her. Uh, I'm definitely going to do some more upgrades on the inside and maybe fix it up here and there. It does need an EGR. It does need a couple things. But everything else is working flawlessly. Like it, It's just it's, it's a great truck. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope I see you on the next one. Later, guys.